Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So today's been a busy, busy day. I had to do um, an interview for Justice or Else for Minister Louis Farrakhan's website for the Million Man March. So it was really, really cool. So before I left to go do the interview, I had posted a picture that was going viral. I had shared it. It's going viral all over Facebook. It's of this little boy behind me. And basically, uh, when I came back from my interview, there was literally hundreds of comments on the picture. So the initial poster is a woman named April. And April had posted the picture. And basically, she said, that she feels like this is child abuse because this little boy's hair is just way too long and then the fact that he looks so sad and so I have a special visitor in my video today and that is my son <laughs> say what's up to YouTube uh -huh. So that's my son, Toshan. Um, as you guys know, he has popped in on my videos, you know, every now and then. It's been a few years since he's been in a video with me. But he's 14 now, you know, he's dang near grown. And basically, I showed him the picture. And basically, as you guys all know, growing up, he had really, really long hair. Um, his hair is probably as long as this kid's hair, but I never once flat ironed his hair. I never permed his hair. The only thing I ever would do with his hair is wash it and braid it or maybe put it in like a low ponytail. But by the time he was like three and a half, his hair was literally to the middle of his back. So it's probably just as long as this kid's hair is without it being straightened. So when you first seen this picture, what did you think when I had showed you the picture? He looked very depressed. Like he didn't like his hair. And like mm -hmm. he's going to be like, Socially embarrassed and stuff when he goes to school and out in public. Right. Like, what, what do you think is going through his mind right now? Like, he don't want to go outside. <laughs> He's staying there for the rest of his life or something. Right. And I feel like he feels like, you know, because he looks like a little girl. Initially, when I saw this, I thought it was a, you know, really pretty little girl. And then when they said it was a boy, I was like, oh, my gosh, it's a little boy. He's adorable. But he does look like a little girl with all that hair. And that was one of the issues that you used to have when you had your hair long because, People would always come up to me, just random people on the street. Oh my God, your daughter is so beautiful. What a cute little girl. And I'm like, what, what the hell? Like, how do you think this is a little girl? He's wearing Sean John, Rockaway. He got on overalls. He got on, you know, Nikes. Like, what do you mean a little girl's a little boy? And he used to, by the time he could talk, he used to get so mad. So when people would come up and be like, oh, you're such a pretty little girl, what would you say to them? He'd be like, I'm a boy, I'm a boy. You know, he'd be going off if you called him a little girl, which he should because he's not a girl, he's a boy. You know, so I just felt like when I saw this picture, you know, like they always say a picture is worth a thousand words. So when I initially saw the picture, I felt like he looked really, really sad and he didn't really look happy. But again, we don't know the back end. You know, maybe he might be in trouble because of something else or maybe he might just be tired and bored. You know, as a female, I don't like going to the shop. It's an all day affair. So imagine a little boy who looks to be about seven or eight he probably doesn't want to go to the shop and sit there and then have to flat iron you know every section of hair he has a lot of hair it's extremely long so I'm assuming it probably took an hour if not two hours to flat iron his whole head so he's probably agitated and irritated so I wouldn't necessarily say that this is abuse you know it's not like she's putting a permanent hair or anything like that but I do feel like sometimes as parents we do live vicariously through our children be it their hair you know be it them playing sports dance or hip-hop or you know things like that Sometimes as parents, you know, we push our kids to look a certain way or to do certain things because maybe we didn't do something when we were younger and that we really wanted to. So that sometimes we kind of attach ourselves onto our children in that manner. But I think... Um, at the end of the day, it's very important to listen to your kids when they say that they don't want something anymore. Now, how old were you when we finally, when you came to us and said that you wanted your hair cut? About four to five. Right. And why did you want your hair cut? Because I didn't like it no more. It was annoying. It was super <laughs> tight. I'm African, so you not be braiding tight, honey. <laughs> so you said I braided too hard, and what else? And like my friends all had short hair, and I was like the only one who had long hair. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and you said you didn't want to go to kindergarten looking like a little girl. Yeah. So that was like the biggest thing. And he came to us, you know, because he was going to start kindergarten that August. And he came to us and he was like, I don't want long hair. I don't want to go to school with long hair. And at first, you know, I was kind of like, no, like, you know, no, we're not cutting off your hair. Don't care what people think about you. Just live your life. And he's like, no, I want my hair cut now. I want my hair cut. And so finally, his dad was like, well, what do we always tell ourselves? Once he's old enough to verbalize how he wants to look and that he wants his hair cut, we have to respect that. Because the only reason why he had long hair is because his dad had really long hair at the time. That's when, you know, braids were in style and stuff like that. So I would braid my ex-husband's hair and then I would braid his hair. But when he got old enough and said that he didn't want his hair braided anymore, you know, we had to respect that. So when we cut off your hair, what happened? I was the happiest person in the world. <laughs> So what did your dad do? Like he took you outside? Yeah, he took me to the backyard and shaved all my hair off. Yeah, like literally he took him right to the backyard and shaved it all off. You know, and my ex-husband's not a barber. It was like literally shaved. I was in tears. Like how long was I crying? 
Like when you came, I didn't recognize you. No, 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, I was like in tears. Ah! <laughs> you know, because he's had hair like his whole life. You know, from the time I had him, he's always had like a head full of hair. You know, so to see him, I'm like, that doesn't even look like my baby. You know, like his hair was like just completely gone. And, and then after I calmed down and I stopped crying, I seen how happy my son was. Like he was genuinely happy. He had like the biggest grin on his face. He couldn't stop looking in the mirror. He was, remember the downstairs bathroom in the townhome? He was always in the mirror, you know, just checking himself out. And he's like, just sat there in the mirror for like 15 minutes and just was staring at himself. Cause he had never seen himself without all this hair. And he just felt so free. And literally when he went outside and you know, everybody was giving him props like, oh my God, you cut your hair. Then when he went to preschool, it's like, oh, he cut his hair off. and. You know, so I just think that as parents, we do have to respect our children's decisions and respect, you know, how they view themselves and how the world views them and, you know, how they want to be seen by the world. Now, if he wants his hair long, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think, you know, having long hair makes you gay. I don't think this emasculates him. But if he's not happy, then the mother and the father need to respect that. If he wants his hair cut, then they need to cut it off. And I think the little boy looks to be about seven or eight. So I think he's more than old enough to verbalize that he wants his hair cut. So so I think if that's what he's asking to be done, the mother needs to respect that and just go ahead and cut it off. It's okay. He'll still be your baby. He's still going to be adorable. He has the cutest little face. He doesn't have to have long hair to the middle of his back. You know, so I just think that if that's what he wants is a haircut, she should respect that. But if he wants his hair long, then, you know, so be it. But me personally, I would not be pressing out his hair. I just feel like that's a bit too much for a little young boy like that. You know, I think just washing it and braiding it is good enough, you know, but the whole pressing of it, I, I'm personally not feeling that I would never press my son's hair and never have, you know, but um, he's He's an adorable little boy, but I just think that she needs to respect his wishes if he does not want long hair. So it's been about 10 years now, okay, since we cut your hair. Do you think you would ever grow your hair out long again, bigger than an afro? No. <laughs> so the most you've grown your hair out since we cut it is what, an afro? Yeah. And that was last year? Mm -hmm. So like last year he had like this big afro. He wanted to rock an afro for the school year. And he grew his hair out for like six months. He had like this huge fro. And I'm like, let me braid it. Let me twist it up. Let me dreadlock it. Let me do something. And he refused to let me get within an inch of his head. The only thing he would allow me to do is just pick it out. He's like, no, I don't want you doing nothing to my hair. No braids, none of that. And his hair was long enough to braid and he refused. So it's like he feel, I feel like he's been traumatized or something. But now he just keeps a fade. He would not grow his hair out. He likes his hair short. So that's how you prefer it. All I can do is respect that so you think you know in the future this little boy will want to have his hair cut i mean depends if he likes long hair you know have long hair there's people like the Troy Pond model that's like the nicest long hair ever yeah if you want short hair you can have short hair right right it's just going to depend on you know what he wants to do but do you feel like parents should listen to their kids especially their their male children if they want their hair short yeah because especially when parents <laughs> make their kids have long hair Right, like long girly hair. You know, they should listen to them. Let them have like you no know, shorter hair, or mohawk, or a fade or something. Right, right. Especially if it's a boy, I think that's very important. All right, so that's our opinion on this whole situation. You know, like I said, I don't think it's child abuse. I don't think you know she's a horrible parent. It is kind of weird in the picture seeing her smiling in the background. You know, knowing that her son just does not look really happy. So, you know, maybe she is living vicariously through his hair. You know, I don't know. But I just think that, again, like I said, if he wants his hair cut, go on ahead and let it go, honey. He will be okay. My baby is proof of that. His hair was just as long as your son's hair. And we cut it all off. And he's okay. So we'll talk to you guys later, YouTube. Deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and you can show me some love by watching, rating, and subscribing to my videos. Don't forget to share them, and also don't forget to follow me on social media. And if you get a chance, make sure you check out lovelytea.com where you can purchase a coffee mug or a t-shirt. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.